Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's an old back then. Oh. That's a keeper there. Today, me and Carl are um, collecting some baits, uh, mainly pumping black look, uh, maybe some blow. And I'm just going to check the uh, tide lines uh, for razor clams, gaper clams, cockles, whatnot, after the storm. So there'll be loads of the loads of shellfish about. But we might be late, that I think the seagulls have been here before us. So I've seen loads of uh, empty shells. But I've got my uh, continental rod that I bought recently, yet to christen it. So just fishing one rod, I'd be pumped on black luck. Uh, got here nice and early, still three hours to low tide, and a decent tide to pump luck here, 1.1 uh, meter low. And uh, it's I think 9.3 meter high water, so we might end up staying here and uh, target some bass. There's a chance of flounders as well. But um, for now, this is the new rod I'm using. Virtually Enigma uh, Continental rod, 14 foot, cost 300 grams. I think it's eight 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 pounds, I believe. I uh, just paired it with my uh, spinning reel, 5,000 spinning reel. Got a 50 pound, no, 20 pound main line on that and a 50 pound shock leader. Um, rig wise, just my usual bass rigs, one up, one down. Using a panel set up on them. Because it's too early for the, uh, in the tide. Only got a couple of blow looks. Black this one out now. See, it looks pretty good. Loads of colour, like the chocolate out there. Um, it's blowing about 20 mile an hour gust at the moment, south westerly, and it's gonna go southerly wind in a couple of hours' time. Well, uh, it's coming to that time of year where bass, bass season uh, kicks off in style. It's the end of September, beginning of, uh, beginning of October. So we should be getting into some decent uh, bass this time of year. So fingers crossed, get these baits out now. Hopefully, christen this rod and get a nice bass out of here. First cast, one of the target, nice, nice bounder. It took on, well, three all, no problem. I thought it was seagull. I said, was that a seagull? But it wasn't nice little chunky flounder. Um, probably under limit, but I'm not taking any flounder today. So this one's going back. First cast into a fish. Get in. There you go. Flounder's going back to fight another day. Off he goes. Right, let's get some bass now. There go. Second cast, second flounder. On the, on the small one. Well, I took the three all hook right in. So, get the hook out now and then send it back out. There you go, nice little chunky flounder. Those flounders are hungry today, taking through your hooks, no problem. Well, uh, before, couldn't get into them uh, first breakers, so we're fishing into the gully. So when we're fishing the gully, there's more chance of a flounder than a bass. I'm not saying there won't be a bass, but there's more chance of a flounder than a bass anyway. Now, I've waded out and uh, hit in the, into them my first breakers now. It's probably about a foot or two deep right now, tide going out. Uh, but this gully about waist deep right now. So just waiting. That sandbank where the swell is, where the breakers are. Once that uh, 
emptied out again on that to pump some black yeah two cast two fish as you can see loads of shells about after the storm but we got here late we should have come here this morning before the seagulls arrived some monster ones very really big ones so nothing left in them at all and the gaper that's a gaper clam cockles there some big size cockles here there I think all the shells Right. Yeah. <laughs> While well, I'm talking to you, Carl, ready to strike. Bite again, yeah. Yeah. Another flatty bite, I think. By the looks. Did that? They seem to take your first bite, yeah. Both of them took the hook fairly deep. So they're very really hungry today here. But about three hours of low tide now. So coming to I think another 15 20 minutes we should be able to get onto that sand bank where the bakers are. And I find some uh, black book bass there. Oh that's a size good size cook room. Yeah. It's nice. Farty bashing on the other day. Yeah. Definitely worth a go. Yeah. I'll put this uh, GoPro down and uh, keep an eye on this rod again. Could be another flatty wave for me. <laughs> Probably took it and just sat there. Right, stay tuned. Hopefully, find that bass today while we're here. If not, might be moving it somewhere else. So managed to pump a couple of black looks here, well one black and uh, one yellow tail. Nice fresh bait now going out. Tide rushing out very fast. Literally five minutes from like 30, 30 yards away from the sea. So far too little found there, no bass yet. But plenty of time. Cast these out now. Lovely size black there. And uh, get into them breakers there. Bit of a gully in front of us now. So I'll wade up halfway. Get in there, uh, get into them breakers behind or or in the mix somewhere. Uh, hopefully find that bass with after. Bass on guys, bass on! Hopefully it stays on. Yep. That's a keeper there. Oh my god. That's a three pounder there. Get in. That's a easy three pounder there. Oh, caught on the panel. There we go, look. Not going anywhere, is it? That wasn't going anywhere. Literally cast it out, as I said, they're wading out and then getting to them breakers there. Didn't take long. Couple of minutes after, wrong body mantle. Luckily, I had the drag set, so I took a bit of drag and I smashed into it. Get in! 
That's probably about 48, 49. What do you reckon? Hold that. Nice fast target achieved. Let's look at it. Get in, guys. I'm over the moon with that. That's going for the table. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Get in. Tighten up the targets you see. Uh, what I'm doing, just wading out and trying to get into them bit burn breakers. About 100, 130 yards away. So, the plan's paid off. Uh, I reckon that pass about must be near 50 uh, because we travelled right here Ooh. What's that? Seagull Yeah that was Seagull tangling to my line I just raided off past that Yeah Just under two hours to load now Cars uh, carrying on Pumping. I'm distracted with the fish in here. Well, we might end up staying here now after pumping session. Looks like a bass here today. So, stay tuned. Hopefully, find a bigger one. Fish on again, fish on. More or less every cast now. Well, I reckon this could be a fatty. About 150 yards out. <laughs> Keep winding. 150 yards there. Ooh, fatty now. Could be a small skillet or maybe this is a nice fatty. Lander. Third one of the day. I'm grabbing the next one. <laughs> there you go, another small fly, guys. Little flounder. What a session this is. It felt very heavy, maybe because of the foul duck. Just going light here, it was fighting and everything. Maybe it could have been a double, uh, had a double shots of a uh, flatty. Off he goes. Yeah, um, big bully in front of us now. now that's where, where the seagulls are. Uh, sandbank there. I'm gonna move over there and cast again. Because last time I've done that, straight into the bass. Because from where I am now, nearly 200 yards, where the first breakers are, it's hard to hit that with my casting skills. So I'm gonna get onto that sandbank now and a bait up, get behind them breakers again. Hopefully get another bass, guys. Not a bad uh, couple of hours here so far, plenty of time. Probably fish the flood here now as well. So stay tuned guys, turned out to be a decent session this. They are getting bigger. <laughs> uh, Flatty number four, I think. Or five, or four, I think. Yeah. These flat is smashing this bass, bass rig, no problem. Size three or hooks. There we go. Nice keeper size flounder. Very chunky as well. Almost inch thick that. But I'm not keeping in the flatty today. Uh, so the lucky flounder. Release him to fight another day. But what a session here today. <laughs> Yeah, four flounder and a nice bass. I was gonna say another reason why I use uh, panel hooks on the fl flopper rigs. Uh, definitely increase my catch catch rate with the um, panel hooks on the floppers. There was five or uh, circle hooks that, that bass caught on. So 
if any decent sized bass will literally grab hold of the big bait they got no problem dropping uh, even 10 or hooks so maybe give it a try on your proper licks guys and they keep the worms base nice and streamlined so when, when on a single hook the worms seem to slide down into a ball but when you put a um, panel look on them give it a couple of twists hook it on keep it nice and streamlined anyway kick this one back uh, I think we've got about an hour to roll tie here there we go uh, it's camouflaged Go. Yeah, great session here. Um, I might have to start pumping some. Look, still got a few there, but uh, cars still carry on uh, pumping, uh, filling the bait freezer for the cod season. Not uh, not far away now. Another week or two, I'll be out on the Mersey uh, targeting some cod. So best get uh, some black look pumped as well in between the bites and uh, fill that bait freezer for winter so stay tuned guys bait that rod up again it's pretty flat at the moment the wind changed the southerly wind it was southwesterly before so coming from the left this side still a bit of a moving out there nice bit of a colour so still ideal conditions for bass but as I said, they uh, might end up uh, staying here and then fish the flooded tide. We're fishing the uh, ebb tide at the moment. So, stay tuned, get back to you shortly again. Hopefully, with a nice pass this time. Right, welcome back. As you can see, <laughs> we're fishing the dark now. Uh, move the mark, uh, come to a more comfortable uh, mark to fish this evening. On the fishing, about three hours of the flood. Um, yeah, um, this is good on the big tide and uh, I've just seen earlier we uh, managed to hit the target on the beach while we're pumping uh, some black lugs. Got here, water's almost here, another 15-20 minutes and the water will be uh, near enough to cast. Some of you might recognise the uh, place, I'm not sure if you can pick the railings behind me. Uh, yeah. Um, fishing the last few hours of the flood here two rods and uh, use your rigs again one up one down one uh, bass stroke uh, flatty rig uh, got one or Aberdeen on the bottom trays the other ones just got uh, three or five or circles for bass but as you've seen uh, when the uh, flat is uh, hungry they'll take uh, three or hooks no problem Trying out these tip lines as well now for the first time. Got it off Timu. I think you can pick you up there. It's really bright. Similar to if any of you use the Rig Shark, it's similar to that, but about 10 times cheaper. <laughs> I think they're costing about a couple of quid for two uh, posted. So really bright. I usually have my uh, tripod with the uh, hat torch mounted on it. But I'm gonna use the tip lights this evening. The winds, the rain starting to come down as well now, so that's a bit of a pain. It wasn't forecast rain, but you can never trust the British weather. Yeah, uh, just gonna bake them up now. Send them out for a bass chance of bass here and the usual flounder um, I think last time we fished here did you get a rock bin out of here? can do yes did you get one here last time? I think we had a did you? I had a flounder I remember that yeah we definitely got a flounder out of here last time anyway but um, no mark for bass just speaking to one of the last day there's been some bass coming out of here recently last few weeks so got a chance of bass here 
Got nice worms, a bit pumped. Uh, Carl smashed it, I think he got about over 200 worms, but I was busy fishing, so probably got about a few dozens. That'll do me for this evening. Anything left, I'll just give it to Carl and he'll put it, put it uh, in, in his freezer. Yeah, uh, stay tuned, guys. Hopefully, this rain stops and uh, we get on to some bass. Well, we're finally fishing, guys. This tide took ages to get here. Even though it's a massive tide this evening, it's 9.5 meter high water, but it took, took its time. It's not even it's reached the prom yet, but um, about 15, 20 foot of it. But nice, nice, lovely rolls coming in. Ideal conditions anyway this evening. Uh, we've been stood, stood here about an hour waiting for the tide. But we're finally fishing now. I think the car's got one rod out. I've got both of my rods, but I couldn't wait anymore. So we're literally just over them. I'll show you. We can pick you up. Too dark. Get this GoPro. Anyway, fingers crossed, hopefully get a couple more fish out of here. It's going to be a short session, probably fish it to high water. If you get a couple of nice bats, we'll call it a night. If not, we might fish uh, an hour after high, see how we feel. Yeah, that's the plan. The best to turn my lights off now. Seeing that load of cars lined up there, they brighten up the rollers there, coming in. Up. Yeah, fingers crossed guys, we'll just put out there, or if we get a couple, of that, couple more bass. Carl does it again, on the, on the sole. On your rig. On oh my one up one down bass rig, does it again. That was a cracking bite as well. Was it, yeah? Yeah, I thought it was a bass that's doubled the run over. No way, that's a nice, nice double sole. Chunky one as well? Yeah, nice chunky one. <laughs> Get in, bud, well done. Well, the first cast, so on. I was about to shake my baits on this rod here. Get that baited up and send it back out again. So, officially, you guys. Well, the weather turned for the worse. This wasn't uh, forecasted for rain. But, um, luckily we got a little shelter here on, on our left hand side, nice little container. So using that as a shelter now. About an hour till the high water. We'll probably give it to high water and uh, get packing. Still a uh, salt to call so far. I've had a small nut before, uh, probably a flounder bite. That's it, wave crashing up. We came up here, nice and sheltered. A quick show where we are. Uh, container here on our left. Wave crashing onto the front now. There we go. Getting salt, not even got a dry gear on, got a chucky bottom on. Luckily, I've got this IMAX uh, in the car. Uh, as I said, it wasn't scheduled to rain this evening, but British weather. Yeah, them big rollers coming in. Um, Smashing against that from now. Good conditions though for bass, but we haven't seen a bass yet. We got about an hour. Could possibly fish another hour after, but if this rain carries on, we'll probably end up packing up. Yeah, still got good few worms left. 
have a couple more cast here. I think it's been a long day. Uh, done all right early on, and uh, Carl beat his blank. He's got his fish, bucket full of worms. Not a bad day overall. Still got a chance here. Uh, get back to if we get any more. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Put, 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 put. I can bite that as well. No best size found there. Okay. Well, they are. Fifth one off the day. Biggest one off the day as well. Yeah. Yeah. By far. Yeah, that's all. Well, I see you're giving some crack and bites today. Yeah, you seen the bite? Yeah. Beautiful. Well, the size flounder. Probably close to 38, 40. 38, yeah. Where's the stick on? Um, on top of your box, isn't it? Yeah, a nice little hook there as well. Yeah. Easy to unhook. There we go. Yeah. Uh. Thirty nine. At an equal of my uh, PB flounder. It's thirty nine, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thirty nine. Nice fish, that. Do you want to go though? Nah. No? I got soul. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting spoiled here. There's plenty of meat in this. Yeah. I don't know what is it. Eh? Hey? You reckon? Yeah, I'll have it. Yeah. Loads of meat on that, bud. Yeah. Plenty of foot in that. Right, as I was talking to you, as you see in there, rod gone. Cracking bite. Right, get that broad back out again now. Best, uh, oh, you got the light. Yeah. Can you show them again? I think there's another flat here coming up. <laughs> Finally! Get in! Come close up, bud. There we go. Feature time, aren't they? They're hard to keep hold of. There you go, nice long, I'm not sure if it's in size. What is it, 25? 25, be close. Believe it or not, never tasted this all before. It's lovely. Yeah? Yeah. Um, let's have a quick measure. A nice little hook there, taking yeah. it to the hole. No problem. There you go, let's have a look. Oh, 24. No? It's 24, it's all. It's all you didn't have to keep hold of. Slimy. Bloody hell. 
You can grip them one way, but the other way just fly out your hand. It's all there, it's all 24 centimetres. So That's well in. 20... It's probably just, PB, this. Just under 29. But the biggest one was for, for Brunswick. Uh, Brunswick one was 7, 27, I think. This go. is 29, yeah? Yeah. Come with the closer foot. There you go. 29 centimetres, so... I might take this home and uh, give it a try. I know it's not massive, but I just want a little I'll taste. You will be. Yeah? Yeah. How would you prepare? Uh, shower fly. I do mine with a little Keep bit of Keep the butter. skin on? Yeah, skin on. Yeah? Uh, fry skin down. And literally just shower fry it with a bit of... Um, butter or flour. oil? Yeah, do it in butter. Yeah. But add a little bit of flour in there. Okay. Just to dry it out. And I normally do it in a little bit of... That's a nice recipe, recipe off, Carl. Yeah. Oh, what do I mean with that? Or well, you can bake them. Yeah? Um, a little bit of creamy parsley sauce with it, with some, uh, some? potatoes and yeah. peas, mate. Right? Lovely. Nice recipe there. Right, let's get another bait out. <laughs> That's my uh, first fishes of the day. Bass, flounder, and a sole. <laughs> first one as well, and a PB. Give it a crack and bite, don't you? Yeah. Anyway, let's get back out there now, guys. That's it, call it a night now. Absolutely drenched. I think uh, Carl is bringing his last rod in. And uh, I've still got my rods out, but I think I'm gonna bring them in shortly. Um, let's have a look. The tide didn't come to the prom, just gone nine o'clock. Now it's 11. I've been fishing for two hours here. Managed a nice uh, flounder, as you've seen, and uh, PB sole. Carl managed to beat a plank with a nice sole. Happy days, not a bad that, uh, day's fishing. So, overall, five flounder for me. Uh, Dover sole and a nice bass. Uh, if I measure the bass when I get in, and uh, I'll put it on the screen, if, if I don't, it'll probably about 49, 50 mark. Probably touching a uh, three pound. Yeah, packing up near the high water now. Salt. Nice little session here anyway, not a blank. Second venue. Well, uh, nothing else to say really thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one guys